What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and predictions on WWE Extreme Rules 2018. As usual, I have all the matches right in front of me, so let's just get right to it. Up first, we have the United States Championship match, Jeff Hardy versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I think both guys are very talented, but I honestly, as much as I'd hate to see Jeff Hardy lose the championship, because I think he's a hell of a wrestler and a hell of a champion, I think if he was to lose it, It'd be against Shinsuke. I think that'd be a very interesting storyline. Of course, Shinsuke hasn't been able to win the WWE Championship from AJ Styles for the past couple months, and he's had plenty of opportunity, plenty of opportunity to do so. So I could see him winning the United States Championship for one and one reason only: to have it where Jeff Hardy gets a shot for the WWE Championship against AJ Styles. I know they've fought before, but I think it'd be interesting for the WWE Championship. Jeff Hardy versus AJ Styles, I think that'd be a hell of a match, so if he does lose, I think that's what's going to happen, so my official prediction for this match is Shinsuke is going to win the United States Championship, I think that'd be a great opportunity for him. Next up, the Intercontinental Championship match, Dolph Ziggler defending his championship against former champion Seth Rollins in a 30-minute Iron Man match. I haven't seen one in a while, so I think it's pretty interesting they're bringing that in effect in Extreme Rules. I really wish more of these matches were more of extreme, but it is going to be pretty interesting. As much as I don't like Dolph Ziggler, I think Seth Rollins is going to win. I think Dolph Ziggler is kind of bringing back his championship methods, and I think he's really upping up his game, but I really want to see Seth Rollins as champion again. If not, I could see Seth Rollins going for the Universal Championship down the line in a couple months, but... I really want him to win this match, so my official prediction is Seth Rollins winning this match. Next up, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Bludgeon Brothers versus Team Hell No. Of course, Team Hell No reunited, and in my opinion, I don't think it was that great of a move to have Team Hell No go to number one contendership right away, right after reuniting. I do get that they're kind of giving Daniel Bryan a push now, and now he's getting a shot for a championship. I do agree with that. I do like the idea. And I do like that they brought Team Hell No back, but the fact that they pushed past the club and all of uh, SmackDown's tag teams, I think that was a huge mistake. But for this match, as much as I like the Bludgeon Brothers now and what they're trying to do, I think Team Hell No is going to win the championship once again. I think it'd be very interesting, and it'd be really interesting to see what is going to happen at SummerSlam, what match is going to take place, so... My official prediction for this is Team Hell No is going to win the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Next up, the SmackDown Women's Championship match, Carmella versus Asuka. We know last month Carmella won, but she had assistance from James Ellsworth. So I think in this match, I think Asuka is going to win. Carmella's had a pretty good run as champion. I am really impressed with what she's done, even though she's had a lot of help for some of her matches. It's pretty interesting to have a champion that a lot of people wouldn't that wouldn't classify as being a champion or getting an opportunity for a championship. So in this match, I am going to give it to Asuka. I think Asuka is now going to finally win the match. If not, I think she will win it at least by SummerSlam. If she does get a match and an opportunity at SummerSlam, I think that'd be cool. Next up, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Woken, Matt Hardy, and Bray Wyatt versus the B-Team. I'm a huge fan of Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt right now. I do like what they're doing in the tag team division. I think it's unique that they were a rival and now they got brought back together. I think that's pretty interesting. But going against the B team, the only way I see the B team winning is to kind of bring the Raw Championship back to the lower class Raw tag teams. All the other tag teams that aren't necessarily top tier and get shots for the titles, I think that would bring it back for them. So if the B team were to win... That would be really interesting to see who they get starting to face. Are they going to start some of the smaller tag teams face? Or are they going to have different tag teams face? I think that would be interesting. But I do think Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt are going to win. I'd like to see the B team win just to see where it goes with the smaller tag teams on Raw. But I think Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt is the way to go. And that's my prediction. Next up, Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley. This match was originally supposed to be a six-man match to declare the number one contendership for the Universal Championship. Something happened where that match got cancelled, whether it's storyline or if it's true. I'm not sure, but they're going to be facing one-on-one. -on -one. I can honestly predict 
Whoever wins this match is probably going to go on to SummerSlam, maybe, and face Brock Lesnar. Even though it's not announced, to me, it makes 100%. It, like, it makes sense to me. So, I really want to see Bobby Lashley win. I'm not a uh, rival. Like, I don't have anything against Roman Reigns. But I really think that Bobby Lashley would be a hell of an opponent to face Brock Lesnar. I think that'd be very interesting, especially both their MMA backgrounds. I think it'd be pretty cool to have Bobby Lashley beat Brock Lesnar for the championship. And then Brock Lesnar phase out and have Bobby Lashley the new face for the championship. I think that'd be very interesting. So my prediction for this match is Bobby Lashley winning. Next up, the Raw Women's Championship. We have Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. This one is confirmed. It is going to be an Extreme Rules match. I am a huge fan of Alexa Bliss. I think it's really amazing that she won the Money in the Bank briefcase and then she cashed it in the same night. I was not honestly expecting that. I was hoping she'd win it, and that was my prediction for that Money in the Bank match, but I wasn't expecting her to cash it in really soon. So she's going to be facing Nia Jax, who is really strong. She's huge. So I could see Nia Jax winning. But if Alexa Bliss can get her cornered and can use weapons to her advantage because it is an Extreme Rules match, I think Alexa Bliss is going to win. My prediction is going to be Alexa Bliss winning it. If she does win it, it's going to be in an extreme way, hence Extreme Rules. So that's why I'm saying it because if it's an Extreme Rules match, it's going to be an extreme ending. So I'm going to give it to Alexa Bliss. And last up on this pay-per-view is going to be WWE Championship match. AJ Styles defending it against Rusev. Honestly, I'm really happy that Rusev is getting a push. I really wish he got a push for the WWE Championship or another big championship earlier on in his career. But I do like that he gets a championship now. He's held the United States Championship. He's done so much work. And to me, he's one of the few guys on SmackDown that really prove that he earned it. He really, really earned his shot. Not just for winning the match to become number one contender, but throughout the years, he really put forward a lot of work to get his to get himself into this type of match for a championship. So to go against AJ Styles, as much as I want Rusev to win, I think if AJ Styles win, hopefully by SummerSlam or maybe a little bit later, we'll see AJ Styles versus Jeff Hardy for the WWE Championship. To me, that's a dream match on SmackDown I really want to see. This one here, I'm torn 50-50. I want to see the AJ Styles versus Jeff Hardy match, so I want to give it to AJ Styles, but I'm a huge fan of Rusev. Always have been, always will be. I think he's really, really amazing, so I kind of want him to win too. So my official prediction is I'm just going to have to say Rusev. I'm going to say Rusev is going to win the championship. I think that'd be pretty cool, pretty cool storyline as well. So that's the predictions for WWE Extreme Rules 2018. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. If you guys have the same predictions, let me know down in the comments, or if you guys have different predictions, let me know as well. Anyways, please take care. Peace.